Almost 34. Oh God, that's so beautiful. 35. <laughs> Another brand new day. Get all this sealant off before I give it a good old bath. Add a little glitter in the metal, and we'd be crazy to think that there's not little glitter around all these springs. In it. This up quick. And that is it. Raise it down just a quick bit. Little diesel scrub. It's a nylon hand scrub brush. Works really well. This is very, very good. One more. That cylinder head is clean. fuel in there so I don't have to worry about rust. Rock All of those are four under those. ARP does not make their, the batches are close, but you can't go one measurement off another. They say in order to make it that precise, they would price themselves out of the market. They say one thousandths of stretch. How the heck is that? There's two thousandths under. Almost three. Let's put that over there. That is about one thousands long. There's four. Okay. Four shy. That's what I'm going for here. Doesn't work to open a set of studs and measure one versus another. The batches are different. They don't have the same number. Uh, that's going to be the two also. That's going to be the two also. That's so that's how I'm checking all of these let's see if they all stay consistent yeah see four under pretty simple would not be uncommon to have two consistent numbers there's two under right there so that would go to the other one Yeah, two under is about all we're getting there. So that one will go there. These are consistent, though. Those are the same as those. Now, when it comes to... <laughs> That's way short. That's nine under. So put that way over here. Little nine under guy. Okay, so they're getting all kinds. Now, would you, seriously, could you even think that I would stretch all of these? These are longer than these by four thousandths. Let's see what we're showing here. Yeah, that's, that's pretty, pretty much 91, a little bit over 91. So that's the same as that one. If all of these, I mean, I guess you could say that if something was over torqued, then it's not going to be the same on all of them. Let's see how many different piles we have of different links. Oh, man. What was that in the way, though? Oh, that's this one right here. Four under. Everything is still staying consistent within the three, the three sizes so far. I only have three, four more to do. Hands getting cramped holding this. That's another one just right there. That one's eight under, pretty much nine under. That's a little bit longer. Let's just see, hang on, because a lot of times I can. Oh. Scratching my calipers up pretty much. Huh? Keep that little one there. No, actually, I'm going to call that right here. That's this one. Oh, 
Oh, that's okay. That's this one. Two left. Mm. Oh, it's got rust on it. Should have looked closer at the rust. Okay. We're going to call that a two. Just last one. A little bit of mm, That's a hair short to be in this pile. Short, medium, long. That's what these are. So we have three sizes and they vary from, yeah, this is two under, this is four under, and this is eight under. Just straight up 8.8 .8 inches. Okay, let's read. We've got seven studs that are two thousandths under 380. Eight studs that are four under 380. And we have five studs that are eight under 380. So there's our numbers right there. Another thing, uh, as far as stretching, if we if we stretch it, in theory, it would distort the the nut as well, and the nut would not thread on there. So we've got uh, these are the shortest. So at two thousands under three eight zero, these are the longest ones. Mm, I don't think I'm buying that. I think. Uh, I think we're gonna call these like three separate batches because I think if they would have yielded and if they would be stretched. No, we didn't have a head gasket issue, but just because they've been torqued, this is third, shoot, third time, fourth time, I don't freaking know, a bunch. So I just wanted to double check and since we only have three numbers, that's, that's very positive. You know, otherwise we'd have like, well, we could have 15 different freaking numbers here that could be varying all over the place and these are very consistent. What do you guys thoughts on that? Give me some comments. What do you think? Right now, my plan is to go with them. All right, studs are in. This is one last look at the deck surfaces. I'm gonna do a real light blow off. Make sure all that little lint, there's little pieces of lint like that one right there. Make sure all those little pieces of lint off. Same with the cylinder heads. Get all that lint off. And head gaskets on. Say bye-bye deck surfaces. See like that little bit. Look, you can see it a little shiny right there. See that? Yeah. Right there it needs to be just a little bit more right before we drop the cylinder heads on close these surfaces close everything up say bye bye it looks flawless that's a good place to be now let's see if we can get it across all these studs without getting ultra torque but it really doesn't matter if it gets on it just a little bit of the bolt holes right there Really gonna matter. Put it on there, put it on. Done. See how it is. No scratches. Dust. No scratches. Yeah, so that just another one just proves that you really need to buy it in the engine gasket set. I've had very, very, very few head gaskets damaged in that packaging, which is kind of crazy because it's real crappy. The bed plate gaskets were hanging out of the box when we bought it. And this is 20 over kit, so it's actually cheaper than the 18 kit. Just so everyone knows, the exhaust manifolds do not clear the Norco stand. <laughs> I'm glad we know that now. You can't slide them on the studs. Uh, you might be able to over here. Maybe we'll look. Let's go over here and see if we can do this side. One does work. This one does not. So we're close. There you go. I just sucked them all out. Now we'll just put them right back in. Get back to work. Let's throw these in. I'm not gonna do engine oil this time. 
Now we should feel it when it goes in and it engages with the lifter right here and then go right there, that little bit down. That pretty much lets you know that you are engaged. So we'll do that 14 more times. Mm -hmm. All right, I got all the ultra torque on. It's a very messy job to get to this point right here. And I got it tightened with that DeWalt right there around in sequence. So now we're gonna run the studs, torque them on the stand. It's doable. It's just the stand might roll. You chalk it with your foot, put your foot right there and it chalks it pretty good. But yeah, we got surfaces covered. It's, let's torque these down. I guess it has been a while since I put heads on with this stand right here. And that lock on that one nylon, the, the tires are rubber. It is holding. All I'm doing is pulling. Where am I at here? Here, let me just see. I'm just pulling, I'm not touching it. It didn't move at all. <laughs> That's pretty cool. We'll see. Hopefully it does the same thing on those because those really tweak it, make it roll around. Okay, never mind. This one right here, it moved. Everything's torqued, got the glove plugs in. We're the tens on the top, the 13s there, all the tens on the rockers. So everything that is on the truck right now is finished. We don't have to tighten anything else. Now let's swap all these injector O-rings out. We're gonna go ahead and put, we got all of them. Julie just went and got one from Advanced Auto Parts because we didn't have this last one. So we'll go ahead and get the injectors out somewhere over there and start putting them in. It's, man, it's good. Once again, so there's no question on if you remember to torque the injectors or not, huh? Yep, yeah, I'm done. All right, engine mounts are in. Engine's back in. It's all lined up. You're just hanging by that. Transmission's got the jack back out. Just snug these up. It's about the end of the day right here. We'll get this drop down in here. There you go. We I went ahead and shoved it in there with the engine mounts out and we just put them back in. And I'll lift that valve cover off because I'm sick of it scratching that right there. And so now drop it down an inch and a half and it's back. So I'll keep pushed away from the passenger side. And we'll come over here and she's on it and we're gonna let it go in its home. Here. 